What's up guys, Cliff here from The Sunday Drive, and today we're gonna to show you how to add a trailer hitch to this 99 F-150. So this is the Kurt 14355 model trailer hitch that we're gonna be installing today. We'll have a link to this product along with the tools used in today's video down in the description. This specific model is uh, compatible with the 97 through 03 Ford F-150s and 250 light duties, as well as the 99 through the current 250, 350 super duties and the 2008 through the current model year Ford F-450 super duty. So a lot of different Ford models that this works with. Let's show you guys how to get it installed. This kit includes all of the mounting hardware that you're gonna need. There are these flat washers, as well as the bolts and nuts. You're only gonna need a 19 millimeter socket. I happen to have my cordless impact, a wrench, or a socket wrench will work. And then you're gonna want a torque wrench to torque it down to spec. We're over on the passenger side of the vehicle at the rear and there's a total of four holes that you can see right here in your frame. Now we're only gonna to need to use three of these holes. So you're gonna use both of the holes at the back. And then if you have a light duty truck, you're gonna use the hole further to the back of the vehicle. And if you have a heavy duty truck, you're gonna be using this front hole. So just keep that in mind. And if you aren't sure, just always make sure to double check the instructions. So um, they do recommend dropping the spare tire. However, looking at this, I do believe there's enough room for us to work. So we're gonna try it with the spare tire up. And we're gonna take our washers and bolts, put the washers above and drop the bolt down through the hole. The orientation of the washer does not matter. As you tighten it down, it's gonna hit on the side of the frame, keeping the head of the bolt from spinning. And then again, because we're working on a light duty F-150, we're gonna be using this back hole. So here's our three bolts dropped through with the washers installed. And again, this is the passenger side of the vehicle. Do the same over on the driver's side. Now there is a wire harness running right here next to this bolt. So you do want to be careful that when you tighten that down, you don't mess up this wire harness. Now for this part, you are definitely going to want to have a second person to help you because this hitch weighs a little over 50 pounds. And you might want to have some eye protection on too because there's a lot of rust and stuff falling down from the top here. Um, my back needs to come towards me a little bit. So we have all the bolts started on the driver's side, but over on the passenger side, this front bolt is not aligning. So we're gonna try to uh, have Pete pull on this. Um, again, we have the other one just started. You don't wanna tighten any of them down fully until you have all the bolts started. Um, so we're gonna have Pete pull on this and see if I can get this bolt to go down through the hole. Um, and definitely recommend having some eye protection on. There is a lot of rust and stuff falling down from this frame. So you don't wanna get anything in your eye. Move this foot to your left. So, yeah, now you're more towards the end. Go a little more. Okay. Oh, we're close. And yeah, we're very close. Got it. So definitely bring someone that can leg press a lot for this job because the uh, it seems like either the frame at some point was twisted, but I don't see any other visible damage on the truck, so I don't think that's the reason. But the hitch might be designed in such a way where the back kind of comes together a little bit, and we basically had to separate the back of the hitch. Um, that's towards the front of the vehicle. So um, once we did that, we were able to push it through, but it did take a lot of force. Now I'm not gonna fully tighten any of these. I'm gonna go around the hitch um, and evenly tighten these up so we don't get any weird twists or anything as we go up. And this is a 19 millimeter, and it's gonna be loud. If you guys do not have a cordless impact, this Milwaukee one, is awesome. I use it for probably way more than it's necessary, but I just love using it. Now the two bolts all the way at the rear of the trailer hitch are underneath this crossbar right here. So you are gonna have to use a wrench on those. Now this one right here happens to be near a wiring harness. So you wanna be careful as you are tightening it up. 
make sure that you're not sure you're not going to damage that harness at all. Now I did orient the washer on that one so that as it twisted it would hit the frame and not the wiring. So I was trying to use a short half inch socket to get up on this back bolt. Um, unfortunately it is not deep enough to fit over the bolt and the deep socket I have is too deep. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a regular wrench right here and snug that down. Now this is where probably having the spare tire drop would actually be helpful. Now it wouldn't be a bad idea to put some Loctite on these um, and if you're not doing that you're probably just going to want to check these after you know a month or so of driving because sometimes bolts will loosen up a little bit during that first month of use and you might need to re-snug them. That's it guys, that's how you install the Kurt trailer hitch on a 2000, not a 2000, a 1999 Ford F-150. As you saw, it was a little bit of work to get that one bolt in, but other than that, it was very straightforward. So get a strong friend, get it put on. Hope the video was helpful. We'll see you guys back here next time.